G'day. I bought a phone. Yes, I actually bought another phone. Um, I was having a bit of a play on uh, AliExpress, just seeing what sort of things they had on there. And I was having a look to see what sort of phone, even a low-end style unit, you could buy for approximately 50 US uh, dollars, which works out about $75 Australian at the moment. Um, see, if you buy a phone from a supermarket here, or from a phone seller, uh, a retail supplier sort of thing, or a carrier, outright, for around about that sort of money, you get something like this. Um, these are marketed here as sort of, sort of the J1, or um, they do sell them under the Galaxy name, but they're kind of a very basic phone. They're an 800 by 480 uh, display. They're, you know, half a gig of RAM, that sort of thing. Nothing really too flash. Um, Hardware-wise, probably about three, four-year-old, uh, if you look into it. Uh, but this here, um, this one, yeah, $75 shipped to me. Uh, ordered it first week of January. So it's taken a while to get here. I'm assuming some of that's customs and that sort of thing. But I'm not sure anyway. Um, this is the HomTom HT16. It runs a MediaTek processor uh, that I know of. Uh, I believe it supports multiple SIM cards. And it's not a bad looking phone on the internet. This is the first time I've opened it, so we're both looking at this together at the moment. But let's have a look what we've got in the box here. Done. So you get standard charge cable, you get a wall charger I can't make any use of because these don't fit our PowerPoints. That's okay. I generally don't like using um, the included charges with phones, especially if they come out of places like China. Um, just a safety thing, I think. I prefer to use a locally sourced one that's been ATECT, which means it's known to be good. We'll just uh, de skin him, get the packaging off. We don't need that. Now, it's plastic, front and back. So it actually has a, a, a plastic screen, I think. Um, it's, got a, it's got a screen protector on it. Over the top already installed. So that should help protect it a bit. Speakers on the back. We've got power, volume. Your headphone and your charge sockets up the top here. And not much else, really. So. Ah. Easy to open, I like it. So that should, that's the battery thing. So I've got a tag over that. Let's have a look. I've got a Samsung battery somewhere around here. It's off a different phone. Okay, so they're, they're using their own battery. So sourcing one of these uh, as a replacement might be interesting, but that's all right. So looking at the date on the battery here, this was made uh, last year, in December, uh, f first day of December last year. So we're only a month and a half, nearly two months. Uh, from the date, pretty much this whole thing was put together to I've got it in my hands. So that's not too bad. Uh, it's got the two SIM card slots. We've got, seeing if it's got micro SD, oh yep. It's got micro SD expansion as well, so that's cool. Uh, let's power him up. I'm not putting a SIM card in at the moment. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll post this as an unboxing video uh, for now, and I'll swap my SIM card out of this phone into this, and I'll actually run around with this for uh, a week or two and just see how it behaves uh, signal-wise, because I know there's a few patchy spots that this here cuts in and out at. Uh, and it's it's actually really good at holding on to a signal compared to a lot of phones. So I'll compare this to that one and see what capabilities I get out of it and that sort of thing. See how good the camera is. Um, this should have Android 6, I believe. 
easy way to find out. Lisa's a pretty standard Android skin anyway. Oh yeah, Android version 6. So that's uh, Marshmallow. Sweet. Okay. Just to have a quick look through here. It's not a bad panel. It's, um, it's a 1280 by 768 panel as opposed to a full HD. Uh, which means the battery life should be a lot better than a full HD panel because it's not driving as much display resolution and the screen's a lot easier to drive as well power wise so that should be cool. Um, what I want to know is what sort of storage we've got. Okay it's got 8 gig internal storage so that may be limiting for some people but it does have micro SD expansion so there's somewhere to add more storage space if you want music and videos and all that sort of stuff. Uh, if you've got uh, an SD card slot it's recommended that you set your camera uh, on phone camera to take pictures to the SD card at all times so that if you squish the phone, drive over it, drown it, whatever you can always pull the, pull the SD card out and put it into something else. It's just, you know, it keeps things a bit safer that way. Otherwise you do risk losing things if you squish the board or whatever. Um, just have a quick run around here. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is running pretty much the Google Now Launcher, I think. Because I, I put the Google Now Launcher on this one. I've modded it a little bit, but not too much. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Well, that's what you get in the box anyway. Uh, what I'll do, I'll... Yeah, I'll upload this and uh, I'll give this a drive for a week or so and see how I like it and I'll let you know. Bye. Also, if there's anything you want me to, uh, to test with this, um, just leave it in the comments below uh, and I'll endeavour to test the phone out with that before I do the uh, review.